I was posting a bunch of stuff on my Instagram from my iPhone and it was like super highly edited. One of my friends suggested getting like one of the Sony cameras at the time. It was like crop sensor, it was digital. And then I was trying to figure out what to photograph. And you know, from going to school for music, I knew so many uh, musicians just around town. And they were like, yeah, just come. Come take some photos, like, yeah, maybe if they're cool, like, do whatever you want. If they're cool, we'll use them. I love the aspect of just being able to be at a bunch of different shows and kind of contribute to them in some way. And I think a lot of the bands and musicians just quickly realized, like, oh, it's so cool to have someone photographing who, like, you know, just has context for what's happening on stage. I'm always bringing my experience, almost kind of specifically, of classical music, in a way. What are those barriers that everyone has to even that sort of art? And how are those barriers similar to like how other kinds of art, so like photography can be enjoyed? I, I didn't really know about the genre of you know, documentary photography or street photography or any of these other even genres or history of photography. But yeah, I started shooting film and then I started understanding like how to make a photo when you're shooting film and you can't look back at it and anything that was just me or anything that was music everything just started doing film and I was just like I gotta figure out how what's happening in front of me can end up as the photo. These two different time frames that are going on which is what's happening in front of you when you take the photo and then everything that happens after that of the photo existing. Using film really forced me to like have my own uh, relationship with time and with the photos. But yeah, I, I, I try and keep what I'm using down to, you know, one or two setups or one or two things so that I can take whatever I have with me walking around and I could take it to a show. I mean, to some extent, everyone has an iPhone in their pocket, so everyone's leaving their house with a camera, but not everyone's leaving the house with an intention to make a photo. I don't know if I have such a constant thought top of mind. Maybe that's that's a way of like, the photos I'm making are just getting closer to the experience I'm having, where I am feeling less separation of those two things of what I'm feeling and the photo that I'm making. I'm not getting too, too close to anyone. Sometimes if I can make eye contact right before I take the photo, you get a sense of if they're not in a place where they want their photo taken. She smiled at me. They all just kind of feel like photos. And that's why it's hard for me to say like, oh, it's street photography, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. Like all the moments are kind of candid in a way. Sometimes you're posing more than others, but you're taking a photo of a specific place at a specific time. And so it's, it's all candid in some way, and you're always one question away from the person you're taking a photo of feeling as though they're posed. I mean, I, I think I'm at a point where I enjoy being able to make a photo of what I'm experiencing about what's in front of me. But beyond that, because I've just spent so much time growing up in and around music, I, I feel the most validated in a space that has to do with music. I'm pretty excited for the, for the show tonight, actually. I think it'll be fun. Uh, Rebounder, which is a, a great indie rock band here in New York. Uh, they usually play pretty large venues, I would say, Bowery Ballroom. Uh, Etc. Music Hall Williamsburg. Um, they're playing a pretty small bar tonight, so it should feel pretty crowded and intimate, which is always fun because, like, any sort of I don't know, any sort of wide shot just has, will have so much action between the crowd and the band and all those things in it. 